The Citrans FUS 1010 is a non-intrusive ultrasonic flow meter. It accurately measures volumetric flow in full pipes. It can be used on a wide variety of liquids, including those with high aeration or suspended solids. The Citrans FUS 1010 transmitter is available in three styles. The standard wall mount in a fiberglass enclosure, an explosion-proof wall mount enclosure, and a compact transmitter in an explosion-proof enclosure. To complete the flow meter system, any one of these sensors can be used with the FUS 1010. The universal sensor for use on pipes of any size or construction material. The high precision sensor for use on steel pipe. And the high temperature sensor for use on pipes of any size or construction material at temperatures up to 230 degrees Celsius or 446 degrees Fahrenheit. The Citrans FUS 1010 keypad, graphical display, and menu-driven software make configuration simple. To configure the Citrans FUS 1010, we need the following application details. The nominal pipe size, wall thickness, and construction material at the sensor location. The type and size of sensor being used. And the type of liquid we will be measuring. Our first step is to create a site name for our application. Press the menu key to access the program screens. Using the arrow keys, we select the channel setup menu. Navigate to the create site menu selection and enter a site name of up to eight characters. Then press the enter key. The next step is to enter our pipe data. The pipe data is critical to the flow meter accuracy. Using the arrow keys, navigate to the pipe data menu. The pipe dimensions can be directly entered using the keypad. or you can use the built-in pipe tables. When you select the pipe class and its nominal size, the flow meter will automatically populate the pipe data fields for you. The application data is entered next. This is the information on the measured liquid. Navigate to the application data category. Select the liquid type from the drop-down list. When you select the liquid, the meter will automatically calculate the sonic velocity, viscosity, and density. If necessary, the viscosity can be manually fine-tuned. Press the Enter key to save your selection. Now we will enter the sensor data into the Citrans FUS 1010. This will help us mount the sensors for optimal performance. The data we need is the sensor type and size. This data is on the sensor label. Since the sensors are supplied as a match pair, we should also verify that they have the same serial number followed by an A or B. To enter the sensor data in the Citrans FUS 1010, navigate to the Install Transducer screen. From the drop-down menu, select the sensor model and size. The Citrans FUS 1010 will recommend the most suitable sensors for the application. Select the size matching your sensor. The FUS 1010 will then recommend the preferred mounting mode. This is either reflect or direct mounting. It will also calculate the spacing number index. Please record this index number. It is used to properly position the sensors along the pipe. We are now ready to go to the pipe where the sensors will be mounted. Mount the sensors at a location where the flow of liquid is fully developed. As a minimum, use 10 diameters of straight pipe length upstream of the sensor mounting position. The pipe at the sensor mounting location must be full, even at zero flow. The mounting area should be degreased and abraded if there is loose paint or rust. This will give us a clean contact surface for the sensors. Attach the sensor frames to the spacer bar. Secure one frame at the reference position and the other at the number index we noted earlier. Clamp the frame and spacer bar assembly to the pipe using the stainless steel straps. 
Apply a bead of coupling compound to the face of each sensor. Insert the sensor into the frame and tighten the overhead screw. Finally, attach the cable marked up to the upstream sensor and the cable marked down to the downstream sensor. We are now ready for the final step in the commissioning of the Citrans FUS 1010. Return to the Install Sensor screen. Navigate to the Install Complete menu selection and select Install. During this procedure, the FUS 1010 will display a series of drive numbers while it optimizes the sensor frequency. Once the frequency has been selected, a bar graph will be displayed as the operating parameters are verified. Upon completion of the initial makeup, the FUS 1010 will display the measured sonic velocity for your liquid. Press the down arrow to continue. The Citrans FUS 1010 will automatically begin the Auto Zero routine. The Auto Zero routine is only for applications where the sensors are mounted in reflect mode. When the Auto Zero is complete, the flow meter is ready to measure flow. Press the menu key. The FUS 1010 will prompt you to save the site data. This will provide a backup for future use or recovery. Press the right arrow and enter key to save the site data. The display will now show the instantaneous flow rate and totalized flow values. We have completed the setup for a basic flow application. The Citrans FUS 1010 can be further configured for analog and digital outputs, data logging, status alarms, and data filtering. Please visit our website for more information.